Psalm 125, verse 1. Shir Hamalot Habotchim Badonai Kehartzion Lo Yimot Leolam Yeshev. So we get the title again here in the first verse to another psalm of ascents. And here we get again the song of the ascents. Can remind you of that definite article. And we have sheer as a construct here, song of the ascents. And again, it's plural. So a few little features there. Next, we get those who trust. Now we have here formally a call participle. Notice the O in the first root letter position, and the root is batach. We have the plural ending, so we have those who trust, plural, those who trust in the Lord, Badonai. Notice the pointing here of the preposition with the divine name Yahweh. It's a little bit different than our normal bait preposition, but uh, this is unique for the divine name, as is the the sere for Elohim, you may remember, Elohim. We get that sere in the front and then nothing under the olive. So a couple of unique vowel pointings of the prep prepositions there. Those who trust in the Lord. Next we get a comparison, and so we have to supply the verb are like Mount Zion. He will not be shaken or caused to totter. Remember I said be here, and so we have a nifal verb. The root is moat. And uh, when we get the nifal, the normal nifal beginning would have looked something like this, yeah, and then with this ah, wow, or vav combination here, we get that ow to o contraction, which is where we get then this holum vav as that middle vowel of the um, of the hollow verb. So a little bit of morphology there. He will not be moved. Uh, forever or to eternity, he will dwell, or we might say dwell securely. This last verb that we have is a call imperfect 3ms. The root is yashav, and in the one vav yodes, in this particular case, yashav is a one vav originally, and so the vav flees. And we're left with the performative vowel yod. And we know this because of the lengthening of that performative vowel. So we get those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. He will not be shaken forever. He will dwell securely.